Hi, I'm Michael Rogan, and I'm the coach of the Professional Ski Instructors of America's Alpine Team. Today, I'm here to share with you three common mistakes that skiers make and ways to solve those problems. You know, a problem that everybody faces is often we start a turn with our upper body. We take our upper body and we think if I wind it up and face up the hill and huck it and throw it down the hill that we'll get our skis to turn really quick. The challenge is, is when you throw the upper body a lot, it's really easy to knock yourself out of balance and lose control of our skis. What we'd like to do is get ourselves just to keep this calm. Look where you're going, kind of tending to, and then let the skis turn to meet your upper body and not have your upper body outrace your skis down and across the hill. You know, a situation that's all too common in, in skiing and especially people that are trying to get better is they feel like they got to rush their skis. They got to rush their turn. So as a result of that thought process, they feel like they got to hurry up and throw their skis around the corner and push their tails uphill. So you got the tail of the ski getting tossed up the hill to try and get a turn, a turn to happen. Look, sometimes you step in around, you make a stem step, it's okay. But in most situations, our goal should be to get the front of the ski to go down the hill to get a turn started and not the back of the ski to get tossed up the hill to get a turn started. You know, I would say that the most common problem or the most prevalent issue that people have in learning how to ski and getting better at skiing and then getting really good at skiing is they just get caught in the back seat. We've heard that term all the time. Our goal needs to be that we get into the middle of the ski and we stay there. On a flat surface, it's relatively easy because all we have to do is stand up. The challenge happens when the snow, the slope goes from flat to tipped up like this. If we don't make an adjustment with our body as we start down the hill, what happens is our body gets left behind. We have to make that adjustment with our body so that we can just try and stay in the middle of our skis. Our goal should be, as our skis go down the hill, we move forward so that we just stay in the middle of the skis. Now we go down the fall line or into the turn looking like this instead of looking like this. We want to be here and not here. So those are three issues that every skier has to address at some point in time in their development. You got some solutions for them. Now get out, practice, and you too ought to be able to take your skiing to the next level.